Hello everybody, my name is Hassan Dombia. Today I'm going to talk about um, drugs abuse and uh, principle of crime prevention. Basically, I'm going to dedicate this topic to my country, Sierra Leone. And I've seen this uh, days a lot of drugs abuse, drugs uh, victims, and uh, people are taking drugs called normally called a kush, right? So I'm going to talk about um, drugs abuse, right? First of all, we have to talk about what is um, drugs, right? I'm going to deliberate on different different topics and uh, the preventions and threats to security. Um, first of all, I'm talking about the point, what is um, drugs abuse? Drugs abuse is an illegal or toxic substance that, that can affect the state of mind or the body. This simply means that whenever you take a toxic um, substance, right, it can affect the mind or the brain or your behaviors, right? So con con consuming these ones, it's either by drinking, um, smoking, and also by perceiver, right? So it can also be taken through drugs or wrong drugs, right? Sometimes they do prescription for you, then you overtake the, the drugs. So there are different ways. So what are the types of drugs, right? You, you have like uh, medical drugs and non-medical drugs, right? So people take these types of things. So if we are going to talk about the reason why people take drugs, right? There are so many reasons why people take uh, drugs, right? Sometimes people take drugs to treat some certain illness, right? Like um, if you have malaria you have high blood pressures and other thing people take drugs right so another issue we are going to talk about why people take drugs or people become drugs addicts or drugs abuse right so we have to look into this issue because like in my country Sierra so many young men in this generation uh, are drug addicts right and they have a very uh, a very hard substance people are taking it's normally called kush right why people normally take this kush so let's face in the reality sometimes some of these people take um, kush because of influence of their peer pressure right so in terms of their certain friendships so someone might say okay my friend just take a little tips right then also um influence of community there are so many community which has been polluted and so many ghettos are there right so because of this um environment so people some people become addicted they start smoking weeds and smoking not all weeds um um kush right so those are some of the reasons also sometimes because of frustration right some people are frustrated they are they have disappointment disappointment can come in uh, from various areas so people become frustrated right then also mental illness mental illness can lead to people uh, for people also become drugs addicts right so people are mentally sick so they they are doing something unconsciously right so also some people are seeking for solutions right so most of the vehicle minded people they think that when they smoke then uh, their problem might be solved or their hunger can be solved but that's not the case right so whenever you smoke or you become a drug addict when you become normal the situation is already in on, uh, on your pillow right so uh, basically all the things i'm trying to talk they are all threats to security which we are in the government need to put a um, lot of effort how to uh, how to solve this issue because it's a threat to security and it is threat to human development so um, what are the measures, right? I do my research and um, with various uh, friends from Pakistan and Afghanistan. So I find out a little solutions to how to combat it in, a, in, a, in, a, in that particular stage, right? So according to my investigations, um, some of these uh, Pakistan's and Afghanistan friends, they told me that um, um, they also are facing a lot of this crisis in their country, but um, uh, the remedy towards that sometimes, if someone is being uh, victims of um, uh, kush, they simply have to like uh, they can give him a lime, right? So with that lime can be make him to become normal right to become normal at that particular moment but keep on taking it someone is a victim at the end of the day within one two three four years or five years its kidney can be packed up 
right? So these are the things that we are trying to uh, to bring sens sensitization to people to stop these drugs, to minimize it, and to stop it, right? So in other way to stop this one, it has to be a chains of responsibility. So in other way, government um, should do a lot of works in how to combat these things because it affects we the young generation, it affects people, it affects our families. So in one way or the other, and it, it's the threat to security, right? So we have to come together as a nation, how we can solve these things in our, in our county. You see so many young youths, they are frustrated. They are because of lack of uh, knowledge, ignorance, and somehow people used to t uh, involve in so many activities. But there is a solution towards that. We need to look for a solution. Are we, as a team, as a nation, as a, as a patriotic citizen, how we can help each other? Because even the Bible and the Quran and even the Buddhists, they talk about helping the weak. How can you help the weak? It's about where the weak have lapses, you help them to bring solutions help them give them the courage give them the advice right so I'm going to talk about the measures that uh, need to be put in place I'm going to mention four types of uh, measures right now we have a pre 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 preventive uh, measures we have the pre preparedness, preparedness uh, um, um, step. We have the awareness step. Then we have the response. So what are the preventive steps that we, we need to take? Preventive steps is how to solve the problems of the drug abuse. What are the steps governments are going to take? What are the steps organizations are going to take? Then we're talking about prepare, uh, preparation or preparedness. Which are the mechanisms government is going to take to solve these issues of of drugs abuse, right, uh, to combat this drugs abuse. Then also awareness, right? If we're looking at the, the areas of awareness, there have to be a sense, uh, so many sensitizations and organizations to come on board. How they can sensitize the people? Because you cannot arrest someone who is uh, like someone you, someone is a victim of drugs or smoking kush at that particular moment. Maybe it might be that someone puts eat in his cigarette or someone put that one in his food. So that one also can change the state of the mind of a person. So there should be a there should be a awareness. What is awareness? Um, uh, people who have uh, more ideas about these drugs should go to the radio stations to sensitize people, to talk to the citizen, the, the infect, the disadvantage, and what is the, uh, the aftermath of this uh, kush, right? So, also we're talking about number four, which is the respond. The respond is that by government creating a teams, right, a teams of emergency, whenever someone is, being, uh, is a victim of that one, which reallocation centers they are going to put these people. Because at the end of the day, if someone is smoking kush, then you take him to police stations, you know, at the end of the day, he need medical attention. So there should be a response team. Response team is called the emergency, uh, emergency manager teams how are they going to tackle these things so it's about all of us to put on together and looking for solutions how they can help the, these people because it's not only a situation of, of of Sierra Leone this also has been it's also a situation also in Afghanistan and other areas so as a nation as a patriotic citizen um, it's time for us all at least to help each other to speak and sensitize people about the disadvantage about this um, kush issues this um, drugs abuse, right? Because there are so many issues which lead people to start taking this kind of drugs, right? Some people lack of knowledge, some influenced by community, some because of frustration, some because of mental illness, and some also because they are seeking solution. They think that when they smoke, their situation will, the, the solution will come. But that's not the, the, the issues, right? So we, uh, the strong people need to help the weak people, not to laugh at them, not to post them on social medias. All these things are human humiliating right it's about looking for solutions we need to be a crisis fighter right what are things i'm saying is for to help to help one and other right i might not saying something is right but in one way or the other there are few things which might be correct right it's not about politics it's not about 
a game is about how we can do a nation building, right? So I'm going to talk about the um, uh, principle of crime prevention. When we talk about the principle of crime prevention, um, there are 10 steps of crime prevention, right? So crime prevention, we're looking at number, um, I'm going to start, Ma uh, many crimes, many crimes or drug abuse can either be stopped or or made a considerable more difficult by taking a good pre preservative uh, measures, right? And also I'm going to mention 10 points wherein uh, this can also help to combat uh, the principle of uh, crime prevention. Number one is targeting, um, targeting harder. Right, so targeting harder, harder, it means making the target, like for example, a kush, more resistant to get or difficult or 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 to for people to not to have access to the locations, right? Drugs or monitoring this area. This simply means that the target, how are they going to target these areas to make it very difficult to people for people to have access to this um, substance? So that is number one. We are in whether it's police, whether it's CID, whether it's medical uh, teams, you know. Then point number two, we're talking about target removal. What is target removal, right? It, um, drugs meeting areas where people go to take drugs and uh, make sure that uh, this substance is there and potentials, uh, drugs, um, drugs dealer or what. So it's like to reduce this one, to target all of these areas, to minimize it, right? Then also removal, uh, remove the number three says, remove the means to um, commit the crime. Committing a crime is that when someone go and take a drugs, right? So he has already committed a crime. So to remove this uh, threat, how are they going to remove this one? It's by making sure that this material or substance uh, is not being used or uh, these people not be vulnerable to this uh, substance, right? So monitoring this, um, this, this substance. Then point number four, we're talking about payoff. Um, reducing the payoff, but p reducing payoff is not applicable here because um, reducing payoff it simply means like like when you have a business center when money people are coming to buy, so this money you have to keep them in safe. So that was re um, reducing pay, uh, reducing the payoff mean, but it's not applicable in this context of uh, drugs, right? So we're talking about point number five. Point number five say access control. What is access control in drugs, right? So is access control is by monitoring all these communities, all areas where drugs is being supplied and all, you understand? Just to like minimize it, you understand? Just to minimize it. So it, there should be a restriction uh, how people are living in this community or certain communities that is people are vulnerable to this uh, uh, deadly drugs, so how they can monitor this one. They're also talking about visibility. That is point number six, visibility and surveillance, right? So visibility and surveillance, it's mean by the authorities, the authorities should make sure that this offender or the victims will not be visible if they carry out the drugs or or, or technology tested, tested machine deploy, or police also, or security staffs are being employed. Also, they have a detectors, right? How they can help the young generations, right? Then also point number number seven talk about environmental design, right? So environmental design means also like um, certain areas which people are going like it's a hideout. They need to expose some of these areas. So at least if there is a lot of people there, people will not be uh, be like um, all the time. They will be shy to to indulge into these kinds of activities, right? Then. Um, point number eight in the principle of crime prevention, the rule setting. What is rule setting? The rule settings are something like a laws, the introduction of the legislation. Legislation means laws or bylaws, right? Like if somebody indulge in this conduct or this act, right? What set they set out and what um, acceptable behavior you should have, right? So what are the behavior in this community? Then point number nine is um talk about increasing the chance of being caught. So like government or police, they need to increase the chance of being caught, right? That by putting mechanism in place, um, like 
um, anything that uh, to slow down the, the, the supply, the chain supplies of these uh, deadly drugs or drugs addicts and the risks of being caught. And also, they have to put a preventive measure, the methods. The methods are effective if the offender or the victim being in risks or caught. Then also we're talking about point number 10, which is more mostly important for these drugs, uh, these drugs addicts or drugs abuse, right? Um, we call it um, deflating offender or deflate, deflating offender or drugs addict. This is the final principle of a crime prevention or drugs, diverting the offender or the potential victim from committing a crime. This involves agency working with the young people vulnerable to influence the standard, right? Then also, this involves the agency and also thinking and the attitude of the people. The, the aim of this work is to prevent crimes and drugs abuse and also to create um, educational programs, how people should be educated about these things, the defects. There are also drugs, drugs addiction teams, right? People who are there understand about drugs, how to combat these uh, people that have been victims, how to combat these issues, right? Then also youth growth and organization. Youth also need to sensitize their fellow brothers, help each other, right? Then point number four also, uh, um, providing trainings. Training needs to be providing either in radios or TVs or other areas how people can stop, talk to the people, right? Like organizations, right? Organization also need to come out to help the people because this is not only a problem about the, 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 the government, it's a problem about the old citizen. It's about our generations, right? So um, also, the most important thing also, we're talking about the four, the four steps, which are the preventives, how government is going to prevent, how we, the, 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 the citizens are going to prevent this um, uh, situation. Then also we're talking about the preparedness. If this situation happens, how are we prepared to combat this, this threat of security? Then we're talking about awareness. What are the awareness that government or we are giving or organization are, are explaining to people how, so people are aware about the defects, about the, 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 the cons and pros of these things. Then also the respond. In case of these things occur, how people, how, which, who are the emergency system, who are who, the emergency team that is going to help people, to relocate people, their mind, to help people solve this problem. Because this is a, is, is, is a really a problem. So as, I, as I'm going to alight also, um, it's really, it's really sad. It's really sad, you know. So at least the strong people need to help the weaker one. It's not about uh, arresting people who, who, who are addicted to these drugs. It's about finding the mental, the me mental cure for them, looking for solutions. Solution is what we should be looking at also. Then after the law, we take into full effect because first of all, we need to uh, the awareness stage. You know. Okay, thank you very much. I stop here. Thank you all for listening to my video.